All right, what's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. Uh, we're going to take a look at BNGO. This is Bio Nano Genomics. They have earnings tomorrow, um, which is one of the main reasons I'm looking at them. Now, there's some very, very lovely things that I'm, uh, you know, looking at on BNGO. Okay, if we zoom out a little bit more on our daily chart, okay, this is the whole, it covers the whole last year, okay? Um, we had these daily gaps down to 350 and then a dollar 63 and i've been waiting on these to fill um you know because i mean this thing was up at like 10 bucks here previously right um let's look at the highs yeah 1046 at one point you know and now this thing is down to um you know like two bucks all right so if we look here you know i've been very patient waiting for these gaps down to fill on bngo um, it's not financial advice, okay, just my opinion, but I do think that if you are bullish on BNGO, now is a great time to start adding some long-term positions, okay? We definitely can fall more. It has earnings coming up, and earnings has been super, super volatile, um, you know, in the year of 2022, so we could see this thing go up dramatically or down dramatically, but, you know, it's looking really juicy to me, okay, especially for some long term investments, maybe some shares or some leap contracts, right? Some leap option contracts. Um, they're pretty cheap, okay? Let's look at BNGO real quick and we'll go to the 2024 contracts, uh, which would be the ones that I recommend. And you know, you can get the three strike for like a hundred bucks right now. So, you know, instead of purchasing 50 shares for like a hundred dollars, you could purchase the um option strike expiring in 2024 the three strike for you know around a hundred dollars and you know if bngo recovers and it, and it heads back up to five or seven or ten dollars then these option contracts will be up much more than um just holding outright shares you know what i mean so that's um some leap option contracts i would be looking at um on the chart we have some bullish divergence going on okay so um that's essentially when the rsi is making a higher low Okay, but the stock price is making lower lows as indicated by this uh, trend line. So I just want to say how amazing it is to chart up daily gaps. If you look here, I mean, it, the low is exactly at 163. We had a daily gap down to 163 to fill and we hit that precisely. So um, really, really great technical analysis there. And we got this bullish divergence. We did see a pop, okay, already because of this bullish divergence, but we have earnings coming up, okay? So currently what I'm seeing is you know we have a little bit kind of like an inverse head and shoulders going on or you could say we have a bull flag going on right so you know this could be our left shoulder this could be our head and then this could be our right shoulder over here today um you know this could be our right shoulder and then this would take us all the way back up to like 230 um 220 level right there okay um so i would definitely pay attention to that uh, if we look at our volume profile we can see here that the volume is really, really high up in these levels, okay, between like 222 to uh, 216. And, but below that, kind of like where we're at right now, at like 213 to 211, there's not really any volume. So if we can, you know, if the buyers can step in in these ranges where there's high volume, okay, indicated by this, if we see buyers step in um, in this high volume area, and you know push us up higher then we'll go right past the 213 level 215 level and we'll head up to these levels around 216 to 222 which is what i told you guys the price target was for that inverse head and shoulders okay so um keep in mind that this thing can drop and if we just drop basically let's say like down to the trend line okay then like that's still a pretty big drop all right so you know bngo has room to drop 18 percent casually OK, it can definitely drop 18 um, percent on earnings and, you know, still be able to bounce off of this trend line or near this trend line. We're looking at a little bit of a smaller time frame. So, you know, the one hour candlesticks did dip a little bit below. But, you know, if we go back to the daily chart, OK, you guys can see here that, you know, we're just we're bouncing right off of this trend line. Um, you know, so that's going to be the main thing that I would look for is to see, um, you know, pay attention to the price action and the volume. OK if if you know if volume is super low as we can see here volume was very high this day there's a very big amount of buyers coming in right here um you know if we can't get volume back up high again um and you know like above these levels here then we could see it drop but if we do get that volume spike and buyers come in then this thing has a lot of room up to run um you know we can hit that 222 level 
um, maybe up to 235. Who knows exactly how high it can go, but I really like this stock a lot, and I think you guys should pay attention to it, um, especially if you're looking to make some long-term investments right now. Um, you know, BNGO, um, you know, has, has some good potential, okay? So if you like this video or you found anything helpful or useful, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I do viewer requests all the time. So if you have a stock you want me to analyze and chart up for you, um, you know, I drop um, viewer requests here weekly on the channel. And, you know, I'm also uploading daily, uh, if not daily, then at least every other day. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.